This is a short message from my cousin Shamsa and Latifa. This last few weeks, um, we all have been on lockdown, and um, it has given us, or has given me, a lot of time to think about a lot of things. <clears throat> and one of the things that keeps coming into my mind is uh, how you both are, and um, how safe you are. And uh, if you are able to know how much um, we care and still love you and that we haven't forgotten you. And uh, the experience that we are going through, even though it doesn't compare um, to what you're going through, because we still have the freedom of communication, the freedom of walking for an hour or going to exercise for an hour. Um, we are still getting some support. Um, yes, uh, it's been difficult in a sense that, you know, we are not able to see our loved ones if we're not living in the same household. So that has made me think even more about you both, uh, how difficult it is not to have your loved ones around you and supporting you in difficult times. Um, also the men our mental health, um, the, you know, it, it's, it's made me realize how, how quickly one can get uh, depressed and and feel isolated so I don't know if this message will ever reach you but I do hope that you know deep down in your hearts that you are loved and that there are still people out there in your family in the UK and your family in France and in Algeria do think about you and do love you and do want to help um, and we are all trying the, um, the best that we can the other thing that also um, has made me think about you both <clears throat> this is going to be the month of Ramadan so I've been get receiving a lot of messages from friends and family wishing me um, that you know um, asking for forgiveness and and mercy and love and because this is a holy month and I hope that in this time of Ramadan that you it could be an opportunity for for our family to realize that life is too short and for whatever reason you are still being locked up um, and not having the freedom that you deserve that they will find it in their hearts to to forgive and have mercy so please don't forget that um, we love you we love you both very much and um, we're not going to forget you and I'm, I'm not going to stop doing whatever I can um, sometimes it doesn't feel I'm doing enough or I'm doing anything um, but I wish I could do more and I wish I I know what is the right thing to do, what would be the right thing to do to to support you. So I send you all my love and all my prayers and I hope that you are both safe. Take care.